Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 18 Franchise Mode with your London Lions. Yes, we are back here again for the London Lions. And we made it to the playoffs two episodes ago. We played the playoffs last episode. And unfortunately, we were eliminated in five games in the first round by the Winnipeg Jets, I believe. And the Washington Capitals became the Stanley Cup champions only in a video game. So we now have the NHL entry draft coming up. We are going to be doing the 2018 offseason, the 2018 entry draft taking place. Of course, last draft we picked up Nolan Patrick in our very first draft with the second overall pick. And this year we gave away our first and third round picks of this year's draft to pick up David Parsnack in the free agency. However, we traded away Martinez when we picked them up in the expansion draft to San Jose, and we got their picks instead. So we've got some late first round, we've got a late first rounder, but we do still have a first round pick. So, NHL entry draft. Let's begin. Here we go. Let's see where we are drafting. We've been doing a lot of scouting over the season. Let's have a look. So, where do we fit in? We have the 28th pick of round one. Now, I could try and trade up, but I really don't think I should. So, let's just sim to my pick. We'll take a look at who is uh, first overall. Oh, hello. Um, so, the Columbus want to give us their third overall pick for Drew Stafford. I'm going to decline that because Drew Stafford had a very good season with us this year. So, you know what? I'm going to say no thank you. Wow, uh, Nashville want Drew Stafford as well. No thank you. I, I want to keep Drew Stafford. So, um, they want... So, the Ottawa Senators want our fourth and fifth round picks f for a fourth... So, so we could move up 14 spaces, but give up two picks. No, I, I need to, I need to get some prospects in the system. Um, no, Columbus third. I'm, I'm really okay, thank you. So let's take a look at some of the top guys that were picked. So number one was Darlin. Wow, 78 overall. Then Valeno at 73 overall. Then Zadina, nice one, Rangers. Get the 71 overall. Well, I mean, he was like the next best pick, so I, I guess it's not too bad. So let's make our pick. Our first pick in the 2018 draft. Let's see who we've got available. So, in terms of potential, let's have a look. So, Noel. He's meant to be a third or fourth round pick. Time scouted three times. Okay, so he's a third or fourth round pick. We want to hold off on him for now, I think. Let's take a look at the players that are available in this set. So, we've got a first slash second round pick in Burre. Or Burr, whatever his name is. He's a centre sniper. We've scouted him three times from Russia. He's 19 years old. I'd rather go with him than Andronov, purely for the fact that I haven't scouted Andronov before, and I'd like to see, uh, I've got more of a chance of getting a good guy here. Medium elite, see? A medium elite player in the end of the first round. That's a nice pickup. He's 55 overall, that's not a problem. So Minnesota, nope, I'm alright with that, thank you very much guys. Uh, no, thank you very much. I don't want to trade Drew Stafford. Now we have the 18th pick in round 2. So, we've got some... Any elite guys? We've got a, a starting goaltender going. Gravel. He's gone. Wow, the New York Rangers have picked up several picks in the second round. So, we're the 18th pick. Now, we have a third round pick. The question is, will that other guy get taken? I might want to risk it. Because this guy's meant to be a high elite. Maybe if I take him in the second round. Because what, what else is available in the second round? If we take a look at that, then we'll see. A high top six forward. I haven't scouted many more of them. So he's meant to be a centre. What about this other guy? This highly, He's a right winger. I've already picked a centre. So we're going to go. Let's just have a look. Seron Noel. He's 17 years old from the Oshawa Generals. Most of them we've got a high chance of picking up. The only one we're not too sure about is his defensive stat. Most of them we have exact. His slap shot power is 82. Yes, we are going to go for Noel. And he is a low top six forward. Great. <laughs> Thanks, scouting. Oh, right, so no worries about that. Let's see who we get in the third round. So the 28th pick of the third round of the draft. So we picked up a solid first round pick. Second round pick, not so much. Uh, we've got Orteo. He's a low backup. Uh, let's just take a look at the potentials, the ones that I've actually scouted. Uh, exact top nine forward. He's meant to go in the sixth round. We've got a fourth round pick here in Karostin. So we'll pick up a guy that's meant to go in this round of the draft, I think. So it's either Orteo or Strom, and I haven't scouted either of them. So we'll go for the goaltender. We've already picked up a centre. He's a medium fringe starter. He's basically the same as Wolf as the guy that was picked by Pittsburgh above him. So, okay, fair enough. 
Um, so Minnesota won Jerome McGinley. No, no, not going to happen, lads. Sorry. Uh, the 18th pick of round four. 114th pick overall. Let's take a look. So, uh, Shannon, he's a he's a center. Uh, Zarkov, he's a sixth round pick. Uh, Shannon might be the guy we go for then. He's meant to be a fourth or fifth round pick. Uh, or we could go we could go Trotter. I don't think we've picked up a left wing in this draft. We've only scouted him once though. His league interest is high, so we'll go Trotter and see what he's like. He is a low top nine forward, 55 overall. Okay, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Vegas, no thank you. I'm all right, thanks. Uh, no thank you, New York. I just want to keep my draft picks for now, if that's all right. Really just want to keep my draft picks, if that's okay. Good. So now we're getting into the um, AHL top six forward categories. So Tutin is supposedly a top nine forward, but I haven't scouted him at all. I think we should go for Zarkov. Yep, let's go Zarkov. He is a low top nine forward. See, that's a better pickup than some of these guys. They've got medium top six AHL forwards. We make a nice pick there in the fifth round. I mean, I'm liking this. The, the draft has become more interesting like this. I like it. It's much better, I think. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, bottom six forward in the seventh round. We're only in the sixth round, aren't we? Uh, or maybe we're not. Maybe we are in the seventh round. Uh, so, yeah, Wedman will go for you, sir. And you are a medium AHL top six forward. Oh, no, we are in the sixth round. Oh, I knew it. So defense is the only place that we're kind of slacking on a little bit right now. Which isn't too bad, I must admit. So, uh, yeah, let's pick up a defenseman. Um, we've scouted that guy eight times. He's a seventh round pick. Wow, poor guy Leeson. I'm so sorry, man. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's go for a defenseman. Coyle, he's supposedly meant to be a seventh defenseman. He probably won't be, but we'll go for him. AHL top two defenseman. Not too bad. And that will be the end of the draft for us. So, our draft class of 2018... Bure, Noel, Ortio, Trotter, Zarkov, Wedman, and Coyle. Welcome to the London Lions organisation, gentlemen. Hopefully you will prove to be great players for years to come. Now we have the re-sign phase. Now this is going to be a very interesting situation here. Um, Pulock, Linus Ulmark are restricted free agents. We need to take a look at our contracts here. So we're going to have a, hopefully, a lot, a lot of salary cap space. 24 million Okay, so we need to take each position at a time. Yes, contract extensions. I know all about it. I have played this before. So, uh, centres. Let's take a look at this. So, um, Raquel's not very happy, but we've still got him signed. Mike Fisher wants a new contract. I would like to extend him. So, yeah, we're going to sign Mike Fisher to a contract. He wants 3.785 million, though. Oh, Lord. Can we please not do that much? Can we maybe go for, like, 3.250 instead? Saves about 500000 for one year. I think that's fair, Mike Fisher. So we've got him signed. So Fisher and Raquel are signed. Nolan Patrick will be up this year as well, which is brilliant. Hopefully he'll be at an 83 at least. So then we've got some solid depth at centre. Maybe not a first-line centre, but some solid depth there nonetheless. Uh, Chris Tierney, he can stay because he's growing. Ryan Zingle, I think I might pass on Zingle, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, Cedric Paquette, 76 to 24. I'll keep him at 1 million for one year so he can stay with our um, our other team. Uh, Scarbosa, 72 at 25. No, I think I'm good. Thanks, buddy. Um, mm, should I? Mm, I don't know. Uh, Burray's 55 at 19 years old. That's pretty good. So, in terms of our centres, who's in the system? Oh, we don't need to worry about the system. They're all here. So, 84, hopefully Fisher will resign. Uh, so, an 83 and an 81 hopefully will grow. So, those guys are fine. And then we've got Chris Tierney, who can jump up and play. Hopefully, he'll be at an 80 at least next season. So, then these guys will be pretty set. Okay, and then we're not giving Zingle a contract. We'll qualify him as an RFA, but I don't really want to give him a contract. We'll give Paquette a contract as well. So, that's the centres. Left wingers. So, Michael Grabner, you definitely need a new contract, son. Four million? Oh, you're killing me here, dude. So, let's just divide that by 100 and times it by 85. I can do that for about 3.5 mil. Um, we'll go 3.450 oh, just to see if we can sneak that in. Uh, then we've got Di Giuseppe. Yes, I will give you a new contract. Yep, two-way. Nice. Uh, Popogev, he's 62 at 19. I will leave him one more year, because he'll have another year before we can sign him to his entry-level deal. Uh, these guys, you're fine. Russell, no. Nieto and Lawton. So we, we need a star left winger at the moment. 
Right wingers. David Parsonak, of course, he's signed to two more years. Perfect. Uh, Connor Brown, he's growing. Drew Stafford, he's fine. Uh, Wilson, 79 at 24. I think you deserve a new contract. We'll go 1.50 for a year if that's all right. Um, Smith Pelly, sure, I'll give you a contract. Oh, that's a bit too much for what I'm asking for, though. Um, so if we just divide that by 100 and times it by 85, I can do you for about 1.275. Got to try and save money where you can, ladies and gentlemen. Palmer, you've got a year before that's fine. So right wingers, we're okay. We could do with a second line right winger, though. Uh, defense, we are okay. We need a first line defenseman as well. Joel Edmondson, you can certainly have a new contract. Uh, 2.625. Um, let's see if we can get 85% of that for 2.250, if we can. I don't really have to be scrimping on money because I've got so much cap space, but it might help us down the line. And Pulak, uh, I'll go 1.40 for three years, get you signed. Coil, you've got plenty of time, nice. And then goaltenders, Mike Smith is locked up for one more year. Chad Johnson, Lance Ulmark. Yes, I would like to have Ulmark back, actually. Because he's a good uh, goaltender for the uh, Honolulu Heat. Chad Johnson. Uh, I'm going to let you go to free agency, Chad Johnson. I'm going to let you go to free agency and see what happens. Uh, Marmon Lind, nice 65 at 20. That's pretty good. So, in terms of this actual roster, we need. We don't necessarily need a first-line centre, but if we can find one, that wouldn't be too bad. We need a first-line left winger, for sure. We need p perhaps a um, top six or top nine um, right winger. And we need a first pair defenceman. We could do with a better goaltender, but we'll let Mike Smith play out this contract first. Okay, so we'll just advance a day and see where everything's at, I think. Um, I'm relatively happy with the roster we've got. They took us to the playoffs in our first ever year. So if we can improve on this roster, then we should be all right. Uh, Di Giuseppe's back. Fisher isn't back. Okay, interesting. So we might need to sign him to more. Smith Pelly's back. Grabner's not back. We need to give him more money. Edmondson's back. Paquette's back. Wilson's back. Pulock's back. Ulmark's back. Okay, so we signed the majority of players. So let's just uh, double check where we're at. I definitely want to re-sign Mike Fisher because he was the highest point getter for our team last year. So if we don't get him back, that might be a bit of a problem. Um, so centres, yeah, Mike Fisher. So he wants 3.8. Can we do 3.5? Let's see if we can do 3.5 million. Um, and then it was Grabner, wasn't it? If we lose Grabner, then we've lost our best winger. So can we do 3.750? Let's just let's just double check, actually. Uh, 4.025 divided by 100 times 85. Yeah. Um, 3.750 should be within his range, actually. Uh, Antoine Roussel. Yeah, I'll sign you to a contract, actually. Uh, we'll go 1.4 mil for a year. Because he, he can always... Um, be a depth guy, you know. He can always sort of stick around and be a fringe player on my team. So let's have a look. Do we sign these guys now? Russell has rejected the offer. Fish has rejected the offer, but Grabner has accepted. Okay. So let's just see where we're at now. We need to sign Mike Fisher. I mean, he's getting old. I understand that, but he's still an 83 overall and he's playing really well for this team. So Mike Fisher, you need to get re-signed to a contract. Let's go 3.750 for one season. It won't hurt me too much. And dependent on how well you do this season, I might trade you away to a contender, dependent on whether we are a contender or not. So, let's advance a day. Hopefully, Fisher has signed with us. No, okay. I want to win. I don't think this team is going to be in a position to win. But you wanted to sign an extension. You were, you were adamant about the fact that you wanted to sign an extension. So, now Mike Fisher doesn't want to sign with the team. Okay. Extension, yes. Okay, so let's just give him the bloody money that he wants. And let's see if he re-signs with us. And there was Antoine Roussel. We can we can leave Roussel. We'll let him be a, a UFA and see if we can find a better guy that's younger or higher overall for the contract that he wanted. Roussel's a guy that's easily replaced. Uh, reject. Okay, so I'm giving you the exact money that you want and you still don't want to sign with us. Right, I'm going to go 4 million for a year. That's the highest I'm going, Fisher. I need some contracts... I need some salary cap space to be able to sign some more players. So, 4 million. That is my final offer. Take it or leave it, son. If you don't take it, then leave it and I'll f try and find somebody else. Nolan Patrick should be able to replace him this season, but I'd rather like to have the three of them. 
Uh, end of the resign phase. Good. Right. Mike Fisher has resigned with us. Okay. And Zingle has accepted his contract offer because I qualified him as a UFA. So we shall go to free agency then. Let's see who's available. We have fourteen million dollars of salary cap space available. Let's see the good players available, please. So, oh my lord, Vlasic. That would be a nice pickup. Three teams interested. John Carlson, two teams interested. Zdeno O'Shara, I'd rather not. Wow, he's 41 already. Whew. God, he's getting old. Um, so, top line left winger. Best we've got, Evander Kane. I'm all right, thanks. Uh, Patrick Hornquist, 84, not too bad. Uh, Kyle Turris. I don't really need a guy like Turris at the moment. Vlasic would be a solid pickup. You know, he's 87 overall. However, John Carlson might be a better pickup. Vlasic is known as one of the best defensive defensemen, if not the best defensive defenseman in the league. However, John Carlson is a pretty solid player as well. He is a two way defender also. And he's requir requiring less money and he's younger. So I'm going to give a contract offer to John Carlson. I will give him $6 million for three years. I think that's fair. So, let's just check the goalies as well. Let's see who's available there. So, uh, Anderson, he's 86. No. Okay. Ah, we need a, to get ourselves a backup, though. Yaroslav Halak, I think I can give you the chance to come and play for us. Two million for two years to be our backup goaltender. So, we have currently spent, in theory, seven million. So, we've only got about eight million left. So we need to be very clear on what we want to do here. We can pick up James Neal. He didn't get signed by the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Koivu could be a good pickup. Uh, Koivu wants a one-year contract as well. That could be nice for us. Uh, Carl Turris, James Neal. Um, maybe Vlasic would be a nice pickup as well. If we could get both Vlasic and Carlson, then we will have a solid first line. Why not? Let's go for it. And we'll sign um, Vlasic to 6.5 million. Yeah, and then let's find some um, good players down here that have good potentials. Derek Forbort, he is a restricted free agent, though. Uh, who we got here? We've got uh, Kagulia. He's 24 of 79. Uh, nobody here is really jumping out at me. I want somebody that's like really young with a really solid overall. Uh, Lars Elanu... Uh, anybody else available? Let, 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 how about how about we just wait? Let's just advance a few days, see who signs with us. Because we might end up getting the scraps. We need to see if there are any players that want to go. Yeah, let's sign with the London Lions. Because they're great. And they're a team on the up. And they made the playoffs in their first year. Right, so Halak is here. Perfect. Welcome to the team, Yaroslav Halak. We've got our backup goaltender. Yes! Vlasic, you've joined the team! Ah, oh, John Carlson rejected our offer. Fair enough. So we managed to pick up one of the two top pair defensemen. That's not too bad. We managed to pick up Vlasic. Oh my goodness. Wow. So Dano Shara wants a four-year contract. You're not going to get signed for a four-year contract. Right, so Zdeno Shara is going to be a guy we keep an eye out on when, when the season starts up again. Because... We might be able to pick him up on a one-year deal because no team, no team in their right mind will want to pick up Zdeno Shara for that much. Now, we have the opportunity to pick up James Neal. He is a right winger. However, he wants five years, though. David Perron might be a safer pick, but he's only 82 overall. I'm thinking we could pick up James Neal and shift him to the left wing. Or we could shave, uh, shift Pasternak to the left wing. I'm thinking if we get a guy like Neil, he would have gone from one expansion team to another. But I think this might be a good pickup for us. If we go, we'll offer you five mil for five years. No, I'm not having that. Um, so I want, I will get you on a three-year contract for six million. Does that seem right? Let's go 5.5, because there are no other teams that are interested in him right now. If we can get him for three years for 5.5, that's less money that, than he wants and a less term than he wants. So chances are he won't sign with us for that much. But if we can get him signed for that much, then that will help us out in the long run. Because I don't want a 35-year-old James Neal on our team, uh, who is probably going to drop. Uh, he's rejected the offer. I don't think this team is going in the direction I want to go. Okay, so fair enough. Fair enough, James Neal. Thank you for... Listening to our offer, at least. So, James... Oh, so Dano Shara did get signed. Oh, my goodness. Wow, maybe there is a god. 
Um, so if we take a look, who else is available? Joel Ward. Ah, I don't really want any of these depth guys. I, I don't think I really need any of these depth guys. I'm just kind of looking for prospects now. Let's just look at age. So we've got 41. Matt Cullen's still available, but he's 77 overall. So let's take a look at these guys. We've got some 19-year-olds, some guys that haven't been uh, signed in their draft. Yeah, let's find one that really jumps out at us. We want like a 60 or a 70. Uh, 61 at 19. Hodgeberg. Sure, we'll sign you to a contract. Get your entry-level deal, son. Because he's, he's, at the moment, the best of a bad bunch. So let's see if there's anything else. 62 at 20 for Peterson. 61 at 20. Nah. You're all right, thanks, guys. Because uh, we want to make sure we give our, our AHL team some love and attention. Because that's something they were very much lacking last season. 62 at 20 for Bajkov. No. Uh, 61 at 20 for Tamela. Sure. Um, yep. Two-way contract there. Thank you very much. Uh, 62 at 20 for Fisher, a different type of Fisher. Medium bottom six forward, why not? Welcome to the team, son. I don't know how many uh, spaces we have left. Now we need to find somebody that really jumps out. 60 overall at 20. Uh, let's just go back to the potential situation. Um, so, 81 at 26, no. 79 at 24 would be quite nice for us. Um, will I have to give up any contracts? If I sign him to 1.4, I have to give a third round pick. Can I just go for 1 million? He probably won't want that much, but I won't have to give a pick. So we'll give it a try. Um, let's just try that with some of these guys. Larson, 77 at 25. No thanks. Uh, Dorfin, 76 at 23. Could go with him. Uh, 81 at 29 for Larzella. No thank you. Uh, hmm. Anybody else here? Matt Cullen there still. No, there's probably not going to be many people down this end. 78 for 26, 80 at 26. Uh, let's then go... Hmm. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, Bermistrov, no. M maybe Larson. Pick up a couple of left wingers as well. Um, no, he wants a one-way one contract. No thanks. I want two-way contracts only. Dorfin. Uh, he wants a one-way contract. Try and go two-way contract. He probably won't want it, but fair enough. And sure. No, he wants a one-way... A barber. 76 to 24. He definitely wants a two-way contract. So we'll see which out of those guys sign. Whichever ones don't, not a problem. Hopefully some of them do. Some of them might not. But fair dues. That's all part of the business. Uh, Fish is here. Nice. Welcome to the team, sir. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, Barber's here. Um, Dorfin is rejected. I will not accept a two-way deal. Fair enough. Tamel is accepted. Hodgeberg has accepted. I believe this signing will be good for myself and the franchise. Good. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's go to the um, let's go to the start of the season. I think, and we'll have a look at whether this team is ready to go. Because oh, uh, Kigula. Nope, that's fair enough. He didn't want to accept our contract. Fair dues. I just think like. We've got a pretty solid team here, you know? Like, we're, we've got a team that's very much on the up. Hopefully, um, somebody like... Uh, who's his name? Parsonak will keep growing. Yep, club seats, whatever. Hopefully, a guy like Parsonak will keep growing. Maybe he'll be a 90 by this season. Hello! Um, so, Dallas want to give us their first round pick of this draft for Matthias Ekholm. No. Um, maybe at some point, but not at the start of the season when I don't have somebody to replace him properly. You know, like, perhaps, but not now. So, the big the big questions coming out of Tyler Myers. Wow, Tyler Myers for a first round pick. Maybe we'll save that till the trade deadline. Um, but the current situation, the big questions we've got here. Will Nolan Patrick grow anymore is a big question. Well, but I think the biggest question is, will our prospects continue to increase in overall and make it our lives so much easier and make it really smart that I signed all these guys? And the next question, will Nolan Patrick be at an 83 by the start of the season? That's a very big question because he's he's an o he's over 80, which is fine. Which is why I wanted to give him a year in the minors, make sure he was ready. Let's look at our owner, owner expectations. We are a playoff hopeful. In our second season in the NHL, to be a playoff hopeful, I think, is very impressive. 
Okay, so we need to look at our lines. Let's edit our lines. Who have we got? So, Raquel, 89 overall. Nolan Patrick at an 83. Exactly what I thought. So, let's take a look at roster moves. Let's see what's going on here. So, I'm very happy with some of these choices. Vlasic at an 87. So, centres. We have Patrick, uh, Raquel, Fisher. Nice. Do we have anybody in the system that needs to jump up? Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, so, Raquel, Patrick, Fisher, nice. So, we've got first, second, third lines. Um, Houdon, you can go back down to the minors. Uh, Raquel, Patrick, Fisher, Chiani, Zingle. Yep, yeah, we can take a look at the rest of them later. Grabner, Nieto, Lawton. Um, we didn't sign a left winger. I thought we did. Turns out we didn't. Um, so, Grabner, uh, Nieto, Lawton. Okay. They're not the best left wingers in the world, but okay then. Right wingers, we've got Parsonak, Brown, Aginla, Wilson, Stafford, uh, Anderson, Smith, Pelly, Barber, Pitlick, Fisher. Ooh, okay. So what we got here? We have got first, third, 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 third. Okay, defense. We have Vlasic, Vatanen. You shoot right, don't you? Perfect. Vlasic, Vatanen, Ekholm, Myers, Dumoulin, Edmondson. Nice and. Uh, do we want anybody else here? Not particularly. And then goaltenders. We have Mike Smith, who's dropped to an 82. Right. <laughs> That's not very good. So, Mike Smith has dropped tremendously, which doesn't help. So, if we go back to all skaters and in the system. Do we want to bring anybody up? Ryan Pulock could get brought up. Josh Anderson could get brought up. We'll bring up Anderson, but he's going to likely be a healthy scratch most nights. Um, Pulock, we could bring up... How old is he? 23. I'd kind of like to keep him down there to hone his craft. Xavier Wallet, how old is he? 25. Sure, we'll bring you up as our backup guy. So if we go best lines, let's just take a look at these lines again. So, uh, Houdon has become the captain of Honolulu. Fair dues. So, Pasternak is up at an 89. Beautiful. Raquel's at an 84, so he's pretty much stayed the same. Nolan Patrick, you're a solid top-notch geezer. Very much happy with you, as you are 83 overall at 19 years old. We've got Connor Brown at an 81 at the moment. Drew Stafford at a 79. Matt Nieto, uh, Fisher's down here. Jerome McGinn was playing on the fourth line. Okay, this is a relatively decent set of players, but th this is where our team starts to shine a little bit more. Our defensive core is much better this season. So we've got top four defensemen, top four defensemen, top four defensemen. I, I already looked at you. Top four defensemen, then top four defensemen, and a top six defenseman. Nice. And then scratched, we have Tierney, Anderson, and Wallet. So we have some guys to sort that out as well. Right, so this, this is an alright team. This is an alright team. I'm relatively happy. So Nolan Patrick, I am not going to give you the captaincy. Or the alternate captaincy. I want Pasternak. I also want Raquel on it again. Um, Pasternak, Raquel and Vatanen. Yes. That sounds good. So, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right, so I think we're done with that. Yeah, sorry Patrick, but I don't really want you as the captain. Yet. I want to see how your first season goes. So, we start next season again against the Vegas Golden Knights. So, if we... Just simulate up to that game, then we will end the episode, and we will carry on our lives. So, uh, we've got loads of players to scout here. There's a lot in the W, so we'll scout for a month on forwards in the W. So, I'm hoping the London Lions have a good season this year. We've got, we've got to go further up than last year, really. So, Arena Operations, you can have more money. Give you all the money. Sorted. Save budget. Okay. Uh, auto assigned promotion nights. I'm not really that fussed about them. So we take a win and a loss in preseason. We take another win in preseason. We take a loss in preseason. We take a win in preseason. We take another win in preseason. And the last preseason game, we take a uh, salary cap compliance. We take a loss. Okay, so we went 4 3 0. It's going to be a good year for rookies. Players on waivers, not a problem. We've already sorted out our lineup. So, next episode, we will start with. Our second season. Our sophomore season in the NHL. And we start once again against the Vegas Golden Knights. So, I am going to end this 
video here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.